Hello Capricorn, it's Maria De Simone from InsightfulAstrology.com and you are watching your May video horoscope. They're back. No more fancy production crew. Now it's just me, the computer, hanging out at my house and I get to talk to you about your astrology. So I hope you subscribe and tune in every month and thank you for watching. So this is for you if your sun is in Capricorn or if you've got Capricorn rising. I want you to listen up, guys, because there are magnificent changes happening in the month of May. Really incredible. And I'm actually very excited for you because I think you're going to respond quite well, even though there are some big shifts ahead. The main shift that's happening for all of us is that on May 15th, for the first time in 84 years, the planet Uranus will move into Taurus. And Uranus typically spends seven or more, seven-ish years in a sign, okay, uh, seven to eight. Uranus has been touring your fourth house of home family real estate since March of 2011. And you've experienced a lot of instability in that area, but also a great awakening when it comes to family life and foundations and what you want when it comes to your family relationships. Okay. And now Uranus is ready to give your soul a different type of awakening. And it's an awakening that you might not be looking for, you might not be prepared for, but the universe knows that you need it. And it's about love. Uh, it really is. It's, it's exciting when you think about it. You know, I'm literally telling you that your heart is about to be stimulated in a way that it never has been stimulated before. It's almost like those, um, you know, the paddles where they bring you back to life, okay? A Capricorn, that's what's happening for you with your heart, with your heart chakra, with the heart center, with your ability to give love and open your heart and love, really love in a free radical way that you never have before. So on May 15th until November 6th, the planet Uranus will move into your fifth house, giving you a taste of these lessons and what's to come in your romantic life. Then Uranus will go back into your fourth house to finish up the fourth house lessons. And then on March 6th of 2019, he will return to your fifth house of true love and remains there until April of 2026. You're going to be woken up in matters of the heart, Capricorn. And it begins now in May, May 15th. On the same day that Uranus moves into your fifth house, a new moon will also fall in the same part of your chart. So I have to emphasize for any of you single Capricorns watching this, brand new radical love is on its way. You don't have to look for it. You don't have to do anything special you're going to meet the person that you're meant to, to be with, you're, or people. This could be more than one person. The theme here is liberation. Freeing yourself from old, outworn patterns that are connected to love and giving love and sexual pleasure and having fun. You're going to be free now. Wherever you've been blocked in those areas, whatever it is that you've been doing that hasn't really worked for you, that's making you feel stuck and stale and just not, not fulfilled, it's changing now. There is this restless energy in you where when it comes to love, you know something's got to give and it will, it will, it will be amazing if you allow it. Now, for some of you, this could be destabilizing. Yes, Uranus in the fifth house is known as a fair energy. So for some of you, if you're married, there could be that coming your way over the next several years. It doesn't have to be in May. It could be a theme. Uh, doesn't mean that you're going to have an affair, but there's that energy here. It's about waking you up in a new way when it comes to love. So you have to kind of consider what that means for you. If you are dating, let's say you're, you know, you're just out there in the dating world, but 
you haven't given love in the way that you really want to and in the way that you feel that you, you deserve. Uranus is breaking you free now. Uranus is saying, hey, this is no way to live. You want to love? Go out there and take a damn chance and love. Capricorns are very cautious. You're going to throw caution to the wind when it comes to love now. And you will free yourself. It can be so liberating and exciting. For some of you Capricorns, there could be an unexpected pregnancy during this Uranus transit. It doesn't have to happen in May. Remember the dates that I gave you of that Uranus transit, it could happen at any point. And unexpected pregnancy is possible or unexpected development with a child that you already have. Creative projects will just flourish for you now and wake you up and it can be really exciting. Another thing to remember for you, Capricorn, is that Uranus is entering a fellow Earth sign, which is highly compatible to you. And right now there are two planets in your sign, Saturn and Pluto. So Uranus will be friendly to Saturn. And the new moon that happens on the same day in your fifth house of love will be friendly to Pluto, also in your sign. So this is why for you guys, I'm really happy about this shift. There, it will serve you well. It will be positive. It will lead to empowering changes in love and in that dynamic for personal expression for you. It just will. And the, the planet Uranus might be moving into your fifth house, but it happens to rule your second house of earned income. And so that means there are some changes happening there for you as well. And let's talk about your second house for a minute, because on the next day, on May 16th, Mars, the planet of action and energy, will actually move into your, your second house and will remain here for an extended amount of time. With Mars in the second house, yes, expenses can increase. There could be an aggravated expense that comes your way. But you've got the ambition, the motivation to make money, to deal with it. So you're paying your bills. You're, you're you're meeting your expenses. There's no issue there, okay? You also may have new opportunities to cultivate creative talents and monetize them. I really want you to consider this. Uranus in your fifth house, stimulating creativity and liberating yourself. Uranus ruling your second house, saying, hey, we can actually make money off of these talents. And Mars going into your second house, stimulating the ambition and motivation for you to do this. Think about it, Capricorn. Use your astrology. It, it will serve you well if you use it. So Mars is entering the second house. Now next month, he'll go retrograde. And that's a whole different storyline, which we'll talk about next month. But for now, you've got the green light. Go, do it. Go, start developing something. That's unusual. That, um, that spotlights creativity for you as well. In addition to this energy, Capricorn, I have to say that Venus, the planet of love and harmony and beauty, will move into your partnership sector on May 19th and remains here until June 13th. So if you're in a committed partnership, then things look really sweet for you during this time. Harmony prevails and you both appreciate each other more. You're validating one another. You're exchanging words of love. And it can be very sweet. And so I, I like that energy. You know, seventh house relationships are committed relationships, like marriage, like business partnerships. Fifth house relationships are, that's where you meet someone and fall in love. That's dating. That's fun. So a fifth house romance and a seventh house romance are really totally different. Okay, the seventh house is where you graduate into the commitment from the fifth house of dating. And it is very possible with this energy of Uranus stimulating your fifth house and then Venus going into your seventh house the same month that some of you who are dating might suddenly become engaged, might suddenly step up the commitment in, in a certain way. Maybe you'll decide to move in together. Some of you might decide it's time to get married and it could very well be. And again, works for you. It's all... Um, specific to what's in your personal birth chart, which is why I always say at some point, 
consult with a professional astrologer about your horoscope. And so the energy for you really in May, Capricorn, is a lot about love, opening your heart, doing something that you've never done before creatively and in matters of the heart, getting out of your comfort zone, getting out of the rut that you've been in. And I don't think it will be terribly painful for you, to be honest. I kind of feel that you're ready for this, you're welcoming it, and you'll feel alive and happy. Joy is returning to you and your life, Capricorn. That joy is, is incredible. You know, some people feel like love can be a prison. But I believe that true love is the ultimate freedom that's out there. You know, because when, when someone really loves you and when you have the courage to love someone fully, that love doesn't put you in a cage. That love frees you from any cage that you might have been in. And that's what's happening for you now, Capricorn. So enjoy it. And I'll talk to you next month.